A self-defense training expert has turned to a motivational speaker looking to help people to learn to confront their fears. SNN's John Woodruff joins us now in the newsroom with more on this. John? Thanks, Amber. Burt Rodriguez holds eight martial arts black belts, and he says he's gone through a lot of trials in his life that he hopes that the story will inspire others. Martial arts instructor Burt Rodriguez was surprised to hear a familiar name in the aftermath of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Among the suspected hijackers, he saw an image of Ziad Jara, one of his most committed students. I worked with, uh, with him for about four months, and uh, he was very into what he was doing. Um, we never know what, what people are going to do with what they have learned in life. Rodriguez has also taught police, DEA officers, and military personnel in martial arts. And now he has written a book that passes along the message of self-discipline and conquering fear and doubt he has given to his students over the years. We, we were nervous, we were afraid, but something kicked in naturally that we were able to overcome them. And I think that's what we really need to all tap into. We all have that power. Dr. Andrew Cutler is the CEO of the Florida Clinical Research Center. He says he recommends Rodriguez's book to patients and colleagues for its universal advice. It really helps you to not make the same mistake over and over again. It gives you tools, it gives you options. And to be mentally healthy is to have various tools and options to deal with the situation appropriately. Dr. Cutler sees the way the martial arts master trained world champions as a way of helping patients cope with mental stress. What is so helpful here is to be able to put the physical and the emotional and the mental into a sense of balance and harmony that will provide you with a foundation for life. Now, Dr. Cutler and Rodriguez are working on a program to help kids find nonviolent ways to deal with bullying. They plan on implementing that plan at, at the program at the Newgate Montessori School in the near future. All right, thank you, John.